Today we will be discussing how exactly to change the memory of a MacBook Pro. You see, there's different ways of doing it. There's different ways of how to get to it, but I'm going to show you a very simple, simple way. So first you just get a standard screwdriver. Okay. Um, I personally purchased, um, the screwdriver that you're seeing me using there from the 99 cent store. You know, you get the smallest star point and you just open the back of your Mac. It's not really that difficult if you have the right tools. So you have, you want to be very careful when you're unscrewing these screws from the back of your Mac because you don't want to accidentally scratch it up with your screwdriver. That's of course, if you're interested in reselling your MacBook Pro. So you just um, unscrew all the screws around the Mac. I think there is about uh, eight screws to unscrew or, or probably 10, but it shouldn't take you that long. So as you could see now, um, I'm unscrewing everything. And once I'm done, I gently lift up the case that's covering the Mac Book Pro gently. You want to be very careful with this right now. The next thing I'll do is touch the plate. Okay. The reason why one would touch the plate is just to make sure that all static electricity is grounded and you don't accidentally get shock while you're taking care of the memory. So you touch it around to make sure that, you know, all the static electricity is um, taken off or it's not active. And then you proceed to swapping out the memory. Okay. And it's a very simple process of taking it out. Of course, the idea here is that you take out your memory as simple by unpinning them. It's very simple to do. I know that the camera angle isn't the best, but once you're able to unclip them, you could gently pull them out. What you don't want to do is be too rugged or too rough with your memory. So once it's done, that's it. Now it's time for you to put in your memory that you have just bought. So I brought the crucial 16 gigabyte kit. Even though Mac recommends that you use a maximum of eight gigabytes, I chose to try my luck with the 16 gigabyte RAM update. So once you place your RAM into the memory slot, it should fit very nicely. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just um, make sure that you're gentle. You slide it in and you press it down so let me change the camera angle or so that you could see it better so what i'll do now is just place the eight gigabytes of ram that's there so i have two eight gigabytes of ram which obviously equals to 16. So I slide it in gently and I click it down. And voila, there you go. Now it's time to reseal your Mac. 
Don't put the screws back on. Just close it back down, turn it over, and turn it on. Just to make sure that the memory is working properly. When you turn your computer on, don't be alarmed if it takes forever for the machine to show up. Please remember that you have just changed your memory, so it will take a little while for the computer to boot up. So please be patient at this point in time as your computer is being booted up slash getting adjusted to the new memory that has been placed inside. Once your computer is on, you just type in your password and make sure that everything is good. Once your Mac is logged in, what you would like to do is to check some basic features on it click in the about tab to make sure you see the details that 16 gigabytes of ram is actually in your machine and mac actually recognizes everything that's there recognize both memory again as you could see there's the spinning or you know the spinning wheel and it takes a while for you know the Mac to adjust to this new memory. So again, if you know things aren't working as fast as you would like, or things aren't moving as fast as you would like, you know, give it a little bit of second, you know, to make sure that it's all good. But usually, you know, within a couple of minutes, everything should be running smoothly. Now, if it's like after a day or two, you install six gigabytes of RAM in your machine and it's not working, then you need to seriously check, you know, the type of RAM that you have to make sure that everything is functional because it should be working. Your machine should be running faster. Like, for example, I upgraded from a four gigabyte of memory all the way up to 16. So my stuff definitely is running faster. As you could see, I'm clicking on Photoshop. Um, Photoshop never used to run that fast before I got my 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you have to make sure that you check all your programs Make sure that everything is moving good. You know, all, all my programs and everything is working functionally good. So I'm currently opening Adobe Premiere. And as you could see, it's taken a little bit of time to open. But again, don't, you know, be quite alarmed as yet. Because with my experience, upgrading your memory, it's going to take a little bit of time for all the processors and everything to be fully functional. Okay, so don't be too alarmed. Don't be too crazy if you, you know, click on a program such as Adobe Premiere Pro and it doesn't come up like voila right away. Because remember... It's new memory, and it's going to take a little while for the system to get adjusted to it. But after that's done, you know, after all, there's all the adjustments, you're good to go. You know, there's not a lot of problem after that. And I could tell you that automatically after I finish putting in my memory, my programs worked perfectly fine. Okay, but some things like Adobe Premiere Pro and some of the Adobe suites don't feel any way funny if it's not working, you know, quickly, quickly, because these are heavily RAM use programs. So, 
you know, don't, you know, get too worried. You know, my main concern about this is that my viewers see this video and said, oh, you just put in 16 gigabytes of RAM and things aren't moving as fast or as quick. But, you know, don't be alarmed. It's going to take a little bit of time. Now, on a side note, I, I want to make sure that I let you folks know that if you are, if you put in new memory, right, and you turn your Mac on and you're hearing this beeping sound, eh, 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 just know that the memory that you placed in there isn't working. Okay, so what you need to do is just not use that memory and take something else because one time I had purchased some memory from Amazon and I brought the same, the, the wrong memory rather, and it wasn't working properly. So make sure that you look at the specifications for the type of RAM that Mac asks for. Don't get confused with a 133, 3 megahertz versus a 166, 6 megahertz. You know, just look at the specifications that Mac recommends or Apple Mac recommends rather and get it. So that's my sidebar. So I'm going to be shutting down my machine now. It's going to take a little bit of time. And that's it. You know, 16 gigabytes of RAM, fully functional, fully working. Everything is good. And despite what Apple recommends for the MacBook Pro of 8 gigabytes of RAM, 60 gigabytes of RAM truly works. So after I finish shutting down my computer properly. I'm gonna put back all my screws on. My recommendation, again, is to take your time while you're doing these processes of um, putting your screws in. Only reason being this, if you are gonna resell your Mac, which thankfully has a very good reselling price value, you want to be careful. You want to be able to protect your investments because for anybody that's watching this video, if you own a Mac, unless you got it through other sources, a Mac costs the least. A MacBook Pro costs at least, you know, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. So when you're doing this, you have to be very careful because you, you don't want to scratch your stuff up if you're planning on selling it. Uh, or in general, if you're just a person who likes to keep his or her stuff clean, just make sure that you take your time while you're screwing in. And once you finish putting in the last screw, happy go sailing, okay? I would just like to say a special thank you for all my viewers who have taken the time to watch this video. I really hope that it was very helpful. I hope that it was useful. And I want you to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my website. To my Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus page. Everything is on my good intent. My youtube.com slash good intent village front page. So thank you for watching. Thank you, you for liking. Thank you, you for subscribing. If you and try, you have a you wonderful day you wherever you it. are. You can Whatever time it. zone you're if in. You try, this is your boy, you the one and only it. DJ you Troy. You I'm out. Have a if blessed you try, day. You can Peace. make it.